House Speaker Kevin McCarthy preparing for another tense week on Capitol Hill as members of his own party push back against any compromise for a continuing resolution. Joining us now, Missouri Republican Jason Smith, uh, chairman of the Ways uh, and Means Committee. Um, you got two feds, you got two football teams, two baseball teams. Where, the he where are you, uh, Chair Mr. Chairman? I just need to know, what, uh, whereabouts? A God's country is what I refer to it. It's the Ozarks. So everything You're in the Ozarks. In, in the Ozarks. I love the Ozarks. I love that drive through uh, Missouri in, in, in the Ozarks. It's, it's, it really is God's country. You're absolutely right. Um, do you have a problem with the way that intro read? It, it is, it, it's kind of true, right? There are members in uh, your party that, that are kind of throwing up roadblocks uh, against any type of, of compromise. Well, I would say we definitely have a big battle before us, Joe, but but the Senate said three weeks ago that they would pass their appropriations bills and they haven't even been able to get a vote on the Senate floor. You're looking at their appropriations bills versus ours are marked up almost one hundred and forty billion dollars. And so what we have a fight in the House is. Will we secure our border? Will we reduce the government spending? And of course, there's some obstacles, but unfortunately, we've not had one Democrat in the House of Representatives to vote with us. They, they go along with the few other individuals that are voting no for other reasons. Right. No, I, I, I've heard that, you know, Nancy Pelosi only had, had five, but I mean, w w do you remember when the uh, Speaker McCarthy went through 15 votes? They, Hakeem Jeffries got every, it's like, I called it the Borg Collective. They vote as like that from Star Trek. They vote, that's the way, de they just do. They're, they're, it's never gonna be that way uh, with Republicans. They stick together like Republicans wish they could, the Democrats. The Democrats absolutely all stick together. But what I will say is, is don't count Speaker Kevin McCarthy out. People thought he would never become Speaker. He went through 15 rounds to become Speaker. They said we would never pass the debt limit increase. In fact, we not only passed it with just Republican votes originally, we went to an agreement that led to the largest rescissions package in the history of our country and the largest cut of spending in the history of our country, along with the most substantial reforms to work requirements for welfare programs in two decades. So Speaker McCarthy's been able to deliver in a very razor thin majority. So yep. don't count him out. No, I, I actually was saying that earlier. His demise has been greatly exaggerated. I figure he gets this done, but it, uh, it, it's, we don't really like to see all this sausage being made uh, every, every, every three months. It's, uh, it's not good. And you know that you're not gonna get, uh, I, I, you're not expecting any help from the other side of the aisle. They love watching you twist in the wind. They love this. This is like... Uh, I think the bigger this, issue, Kevin McCarthy enough. can't ask for help from the other side of the aisle without, right, the, without the, those, maybe losing those holdouts his saying, forget it, we if, don't want help from the other side of the aisle. If he did uh, pass, you know, if he did get help from the other side, can, you think he can keep his speakership, Chairman? He'll, ab he'll absolutely be able to keep his speakership. Will, will members ever do a motion to vacate? Uh, I would never be surprised. Some members love to be in the news, and so this is a way that they do this. But he will be Speaker of the House. He will continue to be Speaker of the House. Um, so I don't buy that. Democracy is a me it, it can get messy publicly. So um, whenever we air our differences publicly, what you do in a democracy, it can get messy. But I, I wish that the Democrats would would actually try to work together. Um, and I would love to see the United States Senate to deliver some kind of spending bill. They haven't done that yet. They've been trying for three weeks, but they haven't been able to even get a vote on the floor. At least we've passed appropriations bills out of well, the House, and, and we've had several votes on the floor. What about the bipartisan, you know, Problem Solvers Committee, who put together something with 32 Democrats, 32 Republicans, that sounded an awful lot like many of the things the Republicans are asking for with uh, border protections, some additional things built into that, spending reductions, and a committee that actually tries to figure out how to balance the budget coming out of that. They, they say that uh, Kevin McCarthy won't bring it to the, to the floor, that that would get votes, but he won't bring it because it will anger those who don't want to see any cooperation with, with any Democrats. 
There's definitely common ground on a lot of spending proposals. If we can secure our border, if we can also create a commission that looks at the long-term spending, we're discussing right now in these 12 appropriations bills only about one-fourth of all of government spending. Three-quarters of all the government spending are these are these items such as Social Security, Medicare, it's all within the mandatory spending realm. And, and that's what that commission that the problem solvers suggested is that you would look into. How, how much of this is personal animus against Kevin McCarthy with a few of them? And how much of this is just these are people who don't want to see things happen? I think some in your own party have said they want to see things burn. Well, clearly, the, the two to three individuals that have been in the news never have voted for Kevin McCarthy, and they haven't gotten over the fact that he's Speaker of the House. Mm. And so uh, I don't really um, understand what they are fighting about other than just fighting against Kevin McCarthy. Uh.